being here today and thank you for organising what is such a great event today. Uh, great talk as well, Tim. Thank you very much. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Josh Luland and I'm a magician from Oxford. So the past year, it's been a bit of a crazy year for me, to be honest. So going into last year, I had a really busy year lined up. I had lots of weddings, parties, cool venues to go to, and then COVID happened and wiped all of those bookings out the window. So halfway through last year, I got a little bit bored of doing nothing and I decided to come up and create a virtual magic show, a virtual magic show that can be enjoyed from your very own home. The complete other side of a screen. So everything I'm gonna do in the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna try my best to blow your mind. And I'm gonna try and involve you in the magic as well. So that everything we do, I have no influence on whatsoever. Now, all you need is a pen and paper and a deck of cards if you've got it on you. Now, to begin with, if you've got a deck of cards on you, can you all take your cards out? And can you take them out of the box for me? And once they're out of the box, give them a shuffle, give them a good mix. Make sure your cards are completely shuffled. So I have no idea the order of the cards. Now here's what I want you to do with your deck of cards. I want you to look through them. Look through your deck of cards and I want you to visualize one card that stands out to you. One card that jumps out to you right now. And I want you to take that card out of the deck. Take that card out of the deck for me and reverse it the other way round. So the card that you just saw is now the only card in the deck facing the other way. Perfect. And now square the cards together and put them back in the box for me. So everyone here should have a different card inside your deck facing the other way. Now we need to pick someone's deck here at random, but I don't want to do this. So Mike, can you please pick any single person here? If you've got a deck of cards, just hold it up for me and pick any person you like, Mike. Has anybody got a deck of cards? So Reese Sanders, please. Reese. Precious up. Hello, Reese. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Well, good. So to confirm, you went through your deck, you shuffled yeah. them and you took one card out and you've reversed it the other way around. Correct. Correct. Can you take the cards out of the box for me? And can you show the camera and show everyone here, if you can see Reese, the card that you flipped around? And if you can reveal to everyone too. And what was the cards you flipped around Reese? Ten of clubs. The Ten of clubs. So that was completely random. So at the very beginning, you all had the choice of flipping a card over. Reese selected the 10 of clubs. Now in my hand over here, I have got something inside here. And it's a deck of cards. It's a deck of cards. Now inside this deck of cards, before I jumped on here today, I actually flipped one card over. One card over in the deck. And if we have a look through, and I'm gonna bring it to the screen so we can all see. You'll see that inside this deck, there is one card facing the other way. Can you all see that? And what was the card you said, Rhys? 10 of clubs. The 10 of clubs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is all thanks to using your imagination there, Rhys. So thank you very much. Thank you for Good your job. help. There. Now we're going to jump straight into another one because I have a few more I'd like to do. Now, Mike, do you have a deck of cards on you? I do. Amazing. Can we, can we try something together now, us two? Go for it. Now we're going to try something together now. I want to create a moment of synchronicity between us together now, despite the fact we're miles and miles apart from each other. Now, can you take your cards out of the box for me? And make sure the card that you flipped over is no longer flipped over, if it's still in there. And give the cards a quick shuffle, make sure they're mixed up. Wicked. And once you're happy, Mike, can you bring your cards to the screen? 
like this. And what I want you to do is I want you to riffle through the cards like this. And I'm going to think of one card from inside. Okay, whenever you're ready. A little bit lower if you can. One more time. Okay, I've caught one. I've caught one. Hold the cards in your hand like this for me. Just hold it still. Now, I've seen one card inside your deck, Mike. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this card down. I'm going to write this card down so I can't cheat and I can't change my mind. And to make sure I don't cheat, I'm going to stick this prediction on my head like this, on my forehead. Is that fair? Is that fair? <laughs> Wicked. Now, the prediction is here. Now, I'm going to do the same for you, Mike. Okay, I've got a deck of cards and I'm going to riffle the cards to you like this. Okay. So I'm going to count down from three and think of one you see, but preferably not this one because that would be too easy. Okay, three, two, one. Have you got one? Lock it in your mind, Mike. Do not forget, lock this card in your mind. Now, to make sure we're not thinking of the same card, I'm thinking of a red card. Are you thinking of a red card? I, I am thinking of a red card. Yep. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. We're going to go a step further, Mike. Hold the cards in your hand like this for me, okay? And can you cut off about half the cards? Cut off about half the cards and just cut those onto the table in front of you. And now the cards in your hand, can you put your hand over the top of them and hold them parallel to the floor? Parallel to the floor. Now just hold them there for me. Now I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna cut off about half like this and I'll put them down. Perfect. Now let's just recap. Let's recap what happened. Mike, you riffled your cards to me and I saw one card inside that I predicted on my head. You then did the same for me. I riffled the cards to you and you thought of a card and we both randomly cut to a card. Mike, for the first time, what was the card that you saw? Three of diamonds. Three of diamonds. I cut to a card. three of diamonds okay now i made a prediction at the very beginning that's been on my head since the start the prediction i made that i saw in your deck was the two of diamonds mike you cut to a card at random have a look what card did you cut to two of diamonds the two of diamonds wow which means <laughs> we're perfectly in sync now mike <laughs> good to know Good to know. Wicked. Now, we're going to try something now, and I want to try and get everyone here involved. So we're going to try something interactive as a group. Now, all you need is a pen and paper, if you've got it on you. Pen and paper. We're going to try something together. Now, what I want you to do with your paper, listen carefully. We're going to fold your paper in half. Fold your paper in half for me. Fold your paper in half and make sure it's nice and creased. Make sure it's nice and creased. <clears throat> Wicked. And once it's folded in half, we're going to fold it in half again. Fold it in half again. And make sure it's nice and creased. So it should be folded into four pieces with the edges creased. Now we're going to unwrap our paper. And here's what I want you all to do. I want everyone here to think of four celebrities, any four celebrities you like. And I want you to write one celebrity in each box, one celebrity in each box and write their name nice and big. Okay, write their name nice and big. I'll do the same as well. Amazing how hard it is to think of celebrities on the spot. <laughs> Pop them down. I'll give you 20 more seconds. Get those celebrities down. Wow. 
Wicked. 10 more seconds. Pop them down. Wicked. So everyone here should have one celebrity written in each box. Now, listen carefully. We're all going to rip our paper in half. Rip your paper in half. Rip your paper in half. Perfect. Amazing. Now, put your pieces of paper together and we're going to rip in half again. Rip in half again. Excellent. So we should have four pieces of paper, four random celebrities. Now, listen carefully. We're going to put our pieces of paper together. Put your pieces of paper together and hold the names so they're facing the floor. We're then gonna shuffle our paper, mix them up, give them a shuffle. And remember they're facing the floor so we can't see them. Now, once you're happy, square the cards, square the paper. And we're gonna rotate our paper like this. So the long edge is in line with our tummy. We're then gonna rip the paper, all of it, in half. Rip it in half like this. Hopefully you're all with me so far. So we should have two halves of paper. Now you all have a choice. You can either put the right side on top of the left or the left side on the right. This is your choice. But if you do that now for me, whichever one you like, one on top of the other. Perfect. Now fan your cards out in front of you. Fan them out like this. So sort of spread them out, fan them out. And I want you all here to take the top three pieces, the top three, one, two, three, the top three pieces and slide them as a group anywhere into the middle of the other pieces. Slide them somewhere into the middle of the other pieces, somewhere in the middle. Perfect. And I'll take the next top piece of paper, the next top piece of paper and put this bit, just leave it on the side. Just leave it on the side, I dropped a little bit. Just leave it on the side, we're gonna come back to that a bit later. Now take the next top piece of paper and slide it somewhere in the middle of the others. Slide it somewhere in the middle of the others. Perfect. And now take the next top piece of paper and this time, I'm going to scrunch it in a ball. Scrunch it in a ball and just chuck it over your shoulder because we don't need that bit. It's gone, we do not need it, it's gone. Now, take the next top piece of paper, the next top piece of paper, and slide it somewhere in the middle of the other pieces. Just slide it in the middle of the other pieces, somewhere in the middle. Wicked. And I'll take the next top piece of paper and scrunch it in a ball, scrunch it in a ball, and just get rid of it. It's gone, gone, launch it, gone. Now, the next top piece of paper, take hold of it, the next top piece, and slide it somewhere into the middle of the other pieces. Somewhere in the middle of the other pieces. And now take the next top piece of paper, and this time, I want you to scrunch it in a ball. I want you to chuck it at me. Chuck it at me. Nice, some good throws there. I like it. Wicked. Now, listen carefully. Listen carefully, square your pieces of paper together, square them together. And I want you to flip all of your pieces over so that all the names are facing the sky. And I'll take the next top piece of paper, take that top piece of paper, hold it in your hand and scrunch up the other three pieces. Scrunch up the other three pieces and chuck it away because we don't need them. Get rid of them, gone, gone. Amazing. We should all be left with one piece of paper, one half a celebrity. Now let's just recap. At the very beginning, you all had a choice of what four celebrities you wrote down. We then ripped them up and shuffled them. We mixed them up and we ripped them in half. You then had a choice of putting the right on the left or the left on the right. We then mixed them up more, putting pieces into the middle, as well as throwing pieces away until we were left with one piece of paper. Now at the very beginning, I'm not sure if you all remember, but we all took one piece out. That's been on the side since the very beginning. 
Now, I'm not sure, but if you grab your piece of paper, it should be a perfect match. And show the camera as well. <laughs> I can see lots of celebrities. Nice. Love it. Amazing. We're all magicians now. Amazing. Now, I'd like to, um, I hope you re I really hope you enjoyed the magic there. I'd love to show you some more. I could do it all day. Uh, but I'd like to share some exciting news with you all. So something that I've been working on since the beginning of the year. So starting from Monday, the 7th of June, I will be running and teaching an online virtual magic course. An online virtual magic course for children ages eight years and older. I will be teaching them and mentoring them everything to do with magic, as well as teaching them some of my favorite easy to learn tricks that will not only improve their skills in magic, but it will improve their confidence and their social interaction as they go forward with their life. As I grew up, there was nothing like this around. I learned everything on my own through books and videos. So I'd like to bring this into the magic community and hopefully help the younger generation. So if this is something that would interest you or your children, um, then feel free to contact me um, using my social media pages here, Luland Magic, as I'd love to hear from you, or feel free to contact Mike or Ben, as I'll pass some details on to them as well. But other than that, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for having me, Mike and Ben, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the event today. Thank you.